There are two things almost any woman can appreciate, whether she's into sneakers or not. That's a great pair of shoes and a great handbag. Those are also two things you don't play around with when it comes to a woman, okay? The bag and the shoes both need to be on point, executed well. That's exactly what the women's team did with the Air Jordan 1 High Starfish just for women. This video will be structured a little bit differently. It's a Jordan 1. We've seen a Jordan 1. So yeah, let's get straight to the on foot for the women's Jordan 1 High Starfish. On the left, I'm wearing the brand new Fear of God 7th Collection camo pants I just received in the mail. In the middle, the minimal snap to cargo zipper cargo pants to be exact in the brown colorway. And on the right, the Richie Lee Collection Fall 2022 Ripstop cargo pants. For sizing, I stayed true to size since it's a women's Jordan 1, 7.5, and, and it fits perfectly as all other Jordan 1s do, staying true to size for my women's 7.5. Now, in terms of comfort, this Jordan 1, similar to the women's Jordan 1 high denim, is more comfortable than a traditional Jordan 1. Now because this is a Jordan 1 and we've seen this silhouette time and time again, they didn't do anything special with the material other than ensuring that it was of a really nice quality with the leather. So we won't harp on this like a traditional unboxing. No, I think I actually want to touch on how the Jordan women's team got this right where Dior and some other collabs failed. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back. Another video on Talks with TJ. And I am beyond thrilled, excited, relieved to have completed the three of three that I wanted for the women's fall releases by Jordan Brand. You guys see it behind me, the women's Air Jordan 1 Retro High Starfish and Cacao, which is always funny to say <laughs> in a video and on camera, but they nailed it. There's, there's not a lot that needs to be said. They absolutely positively nailed it. Now, if you didn't know, uh, the inspiration for this specific Jordan 1 came from the Birkin bag and if you're not familiar with that, it may very much be the fact that it's outside of like your budget or price range, AKA me too. So I'm not a woman that would shop for the Birkin bag, okay? Also, I don't carry a traditional purse anymore. It's more of just a crossbody bag. I'm in many, many less formal settings these days, but nonetheless, I'm a woman. I appreciate a really great handbag. It says something. It's usually a gift that a woman even gives to herself. You can celebrate milestones and just monumental moments within life with a really nice handbag. Yes, quite often it's a designer. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I mean, if you take a look at some of the traditional colors for a Birkin, listen, this starfish, it mimics that. And we get the little details as well that you will find on a Birkin on the specific Jordan 1. So all of that is much appreciated. But where I think the women's team got this right and the Dior 1 missed, if you're trying to expand beyond your traditional target market, right? So Jordan brand is typically going for the woman that's always been into Jordan. It could have been based on urban culture, streetwear, sports, just style in general. You probably, you've had her hooked since she was young. Hey, me right here, playing in Jordan since I was little, and now I'm 32 and still wearing them all the time. Clothing as well and accessories. So you have that woman. How do you expand beyond that? How do you tap into the woman that isn't necessarily into sneakers? It's not an everyday staple in her wardrobe, but she can appreciate a great pair that delivers on the colorway, the quality, quite possibly the story, but overall it can seamlessly integrate itself into her wardrobe and her style and it doesn't look out of place. Because a lot of sneakers can possibly do that for a woman that doesn't traditionally wear them. I think that's okay to acknowledge. Jordan Brand women, you got it right here because one, you made the effort to expand beyond just the girl that is just into Jordans, right? Bravo there. But I think you nailed it in trying to reference something that is very relatable for the woman that may be considered more high fashion. 
And I won't lie, that may come with a higher price tag, which this Jordan 1 did as well. It's $180, not the traditional like $140 or $150 I may pay for grade school pairs. But nonetheless, I'm okay with paying that price. So you are tapping into that woman, that ethos there. How do you draw her in? What she, what does she love? What is she all about? What is she focused on? What can she appreciate? A really great handbag. And that handbag influences this shoe. So I think what Jordan Brand wanted to do with the Dior One is to tap into maybe that consumer base that traditionally maybe shops on Rodeo Drive or Fifth Ave and Dior and Gucci and Prada, that's their go-to. It's not necessarily Nike or Jordan brand that may be, it may be that for us. It's not necessarily that for them outside of being in the gym, sports specific, performance specific, but I just think it missed. It really just felt like a logo was slapped on a Jordan 1. It had much stiffer leather than a lot of us appreciate. And yes, it came with a ridiculous price tag of like a thousand and two thousand dollars in no thank you good uh not that it could not have been purchased but why because that wouldn't have spoken to me even if this shoe were higher in price i would still want it and i think women that are not traditionally into sneakers jordan ones they will still want this specific pair and i think the hat should definitely be tipped to women's jordan team for doing that because sometimes we're looking for this really deep and reverent story it doesn't always have to be that. I said that like when it came to the Jordan 4 uh, Canyon Purple, but the effort was made, the tie-in was there. It's still relatable to women being into style, fashion, femininity is there and I really appreciate it. So you guys have uh, been able to see the shoe throughout this entire vid. You already saw the on foot. Let's just take a look at uh, how I style this a few different ways. Again, it's always endless. This is my personal preference for my personal style. Please, always and forever, do you. Each look will be shown exclusively on its own. So for the very first one here, wearing the Playa Society WNBA cream hoodie with the orange detailing, all of the teams are featured on the sleeve, WNBA on the front and the logo on the back. Again, rocking the Richie Lee Collection ripstop cargo pants. I absolutely love these. If they're still available on the site, you can certainly check that out. I'll be sure to put the link below. And then of course, the brand new Women's One Starfish. Let's dive all the way into these deeper, richer earth tones. So of course, the Fear of God Fitted New Era cap in the brown colorway. This Jordan Anorak half zip, I picked this up at Foot Locker, I believe a year and a half ago, might even be two years ago, from the men's section. Perfect perfectly paired with the Jordan 1 and then again the brand new minimal snap to zipper cargo pants in brown there's a full unboxing that will be featured here on the channel for those if you haven't caught that be sure to do that for the third look, the Alpha Forward Triad t-shirt in white. It's super stretchy. Like if you don't believe me, look at the footage right there. Super stretchy, very comfortable, a staple now in my closet. And then the H&M jogger style plaid pants. Yeah, they're very comfortable at the waist. They have literally like a jogger or sweatpants style waist. I appreciate that. Uh, leather jacket I picked up on ebay just found on ebay great bargain and then the gg pip fedora hat in the new camel colorway similar to the second look but tweaked tweaked a little bit so the mr porter exclusive by fear of god essentials the orange hoodie which i really still think of it as mahogany so rocking the hoodie size small as i wear in almost all fear of god essentials hoodies the fear of god seventh collection camo pants i'm wearing a size small here as you can see they definitely have a relaxed and baggier look to them and then the kith new era tapestry fitted yankees hat to finish off the final look Shout out to Size again for having these available early. Bless up to the UK for having their drops like a month in advance because the official release date for this in the US is October 27th. Yes, it was pushed back. And Size also double boxed this pair. So everything seamless, 
easy, no hassle. Again, no boxes were drawn around cats, okay? I was not waiting in a queue to get an L from Sneakers app, so I couldn't be more happy with the entire experience purchasing the Women's Starfish one on size. And this video may be a little bit out of order only because you guys will see the Fear of God 7th Collection camo pants in this video, but that pair of pants will also have its own separate video. So just stay tuned for that. Know that I appreciate you always tuning in and supporting. Please comment below if you already secured these or if you intend to go for them, man or woman, doesn't matter. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.